Ramu, please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Ramu Zirpalli. Currently, I'm a health from Andhra Pradesh. Before that, I used to do uh, B.Tech from my uh, lovely professional university, 2019, uh, Jalandhar. So, before that, I used to uh, work at uh, Cognizant Technology Solutions, where I have worked on uh, React.js. And after that, I moved to a product-based company, Aleppo, which is located at Pune. So, I there worked at uh, a remote. Uh, and basically, I used to work on uh, Munstack technologies uh, in Aleppo technologies. Uh, so, I have done uh, so many projects uh, related to Munstack and uh, my... Yeah, this is my interest. Okay. Uh, so, can you explain me about your projects? Uh, if I say about uh, my personal projects, like I have built uh, a music player. So, it uh, basically uh, depends on Munstack technology, uh, where I have utilized React.js for front-end. And I have used Juice10 for state management. Uh, for the back-end, I have used Node.js and MongoDB and Express.js. So, uh, what the application uh, depends on is like, uh, uh, we, uh, for the front end, like I have used SATC and UI also. Uh, the music player, uh, like it, uh, it was uh, deployed live. So, you can uh, uh, search on uh, internet. I have used, for deploying, I have used uh, uh, on render.com. Uh, so, how the music player looks like is like, uh, uh, it will have uh, each and everything, a play and pause button, as well as albums uh, and songs. Uh, if we go to particular album, like we will find songs. Uh, it has like admin uh, admin panel also. Admin uh, admin can add songs, delete songs. So uh, I have uh, used authentication based on Clerk API. So what it does is like uh, it will use the sign into uh, Google by using that Clerk API. I have used that Clerk API because of uh, uh, simpler things. It makes uh, uh, each and everything authentication very simpler. Uh, so it's basically uh, it's look like a normal music player, uh, but uh, everything is resizable. By using SAT C and UI, I so, get to this. Okay, nice. Uh, explain me uh, why did you choose SAT C and among other libraries and frameworks? Yeah, uh, I can say that uh, in SAT C and UI, like I have got uh, many more libraries. Like uh, in my uh, music player, I have used the resizable windows. So uh, everything uh, in SAT C N, like I got it uh, very easily. So I have used uh, SAT C N for resizable as well as some uh, cards like I need to use for uh, in my project. Okay, uh, can you uh, tell something about your work experience? Yeah, uh, work experience. Uh, before so you got almost three years of work experience, right? It's yes. Two years, eight months. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, before that, like, uh, uh, I'm basically 2019 password. After that, I used it to work as an intern uh, in uh, EDI, uh, EDII at Bangalore. Uh, then after COVID, like I shifted to Cognizant, uh, where I have uh, worked on uh, SharePoint as well as React. Uh, basically, in Cognizant, uh, the projects for depends on migration. So they have two uh, clients, RP and Alargan. So what my task look like is like I need to migrate each and every data of uh, Microsoft Streams. Uh, uh, everything from Alargan to RP and then I shifted to uh, Aleppo which is product based company uh, so uh, in that Aleppo I have uh, I use it to work on Munstack as well as Java so I need to build uh, Aleppo product that is known as Aleppo CRM uh, Aleppo basically depends on uh, telecommunication domain so I use it to build a telecommunication project uh, yeah, in yeah, uh, Aleppo contains uh, self care, uh, which is front end of that product. So, self care uses uh, React basically. So, based on the client requirement, I use it to change all the uh, dependencies and uh, use it to provide them. For the back end, they have used uh, Node.js as well as the uh, JSP Java server pages. Uh, depends on the client requirement, I use it to change all those things. So tell me uh, one more thing. You got three different companies, yeah. three different work experiences. Yeah. Uh, what is the reason for uh, working so f for so long, uh, for so short period of time in each company? Uh, 
you're not working at least for one year in every company. Yeah, yeah like What's for it? cognizant, like I use it to work for one year and eight months. Uh, due to like I want to change to product based company, so I shifted to uh, Aleppo. Then in Aleppo, like due to uh, layoffs uh, in my company, and uh, so I need to uh, leave that company. For uh, before that, I use it to work as an intern. Uh, so I have worked for six months in uh, as an intern. So explain me how do you handle uh, large traffic on your website? Yeah, last traffic like um, currently uh, I have deployed on onrender.com. Uh, uh, it can uh, take up to 10,000 users. Uh, if I want to increase uh, scalability, like I have used MongoDB, so uh, I can do some starting stuff. So uh, whatever the server load, uh, like I can uh, distribute it horizontally. Uh, just tell me the. Can you explain what, what is Docker? What is Docker? So before that, I use it to work on Aleppo. Like uh, we have built, like we need to uh, give it to project team. So uh, we have used the Docker and we have built some uh, image, Docker image. Based on that uh, container, then I have uh, produced that uh, Docker. Like it's like normal image, uh, image file, uh, normal file. So if the project team deployed that uh, image uh, Docker file, then whatever the code changes we have made in our product, those will be re reflect in that in their product team. So they will show directly to that uh, client. Uh, okay, but uh, I'm just asking about you. Do you have any knowledge about Docker? Uh, no, like I have uh, done docker only but i have not completely knowledge on uh, docker so just i have created docker image okay fine uh, so what about kubernetes no no i haven't uh, I haven't it just uh, just to build counter, uh, containers that's it but i haven't so can you explain me what is auto scaling in the cloud what is auto scaling in the cloud auto scaling you auto scaling of your website in the cloud auto scaling cloud means uh, I have used MongoDB uh, so if I say scaling like I can use uh, sharding uh, for that means horizontal sharding so whatever the server we have uh, we can use the same data in different different servers so I don't know about auto scaling in okay what is web scraping hmm? what is web scraping uh, no I haven't learned. Web idea about web scraping? I have learned to listen, but uh, not having an idea. Okay, fine. Uh, you are good at menu stack, right? Yeah. So, uh, firstly, the feedback is uh, uh, you need to improve your introduction, where uh, you need to where you need to have a proper description of who you are, mm -hmm. including your projects and your goals and uh, your interest in the future technologies yeah. like AI and Web three. Okay. It's was it okay? So I'm um, also explain about it's one clearly about what you understand about the technology rather than explaining what you have uh, hands on on your work uh, in your work environment. Okay, that doesn't matter as much. So you should explain about what did you understand through your work experience. What I have worked on that. Yeah. You should also explain what are the concepts you have covered during your uh, work experience in the particular technology. Okay. Okay. It's not like uh, I have done this. I have done that. It's only about uh, what, how much, uh, how much depth you got to know the concept of that particular technology. Okay. And also, when you are saying that uh, when you are working on a particular technology in a company, you are working as a team. You are not working as an individual. Mm. So I always mention that what is that particular one. Uh, keen aspect, one tiny part, one tiny cookie, what you have learned during your work uh, experience apart from your teammates. And also, you should explain what is the uh, contributions of your teammates towards the projects which enthusiasm you. Okay? And what are the learnings you can learn from your teammates and how to cover the concepts so quickly and how to make the website more proficient. So, I need to uh, explain these things in work experience or in my intro? Uh, better to tell it in work experience first. Uh, in your introduction, in the point should cover like uh, uh, where are you from uh, and uh, your education background and uh, your work experience and uh, your interest in the future technologies. And uh, one more thing, uh, why did you choose this particular domain in the uh, IT sector? There are many domains. It should be very clear. 
uh, should not fake it, okay? Uh, just you should be very, uh, the interviewer should understand your enthusiasm behind your uh, answers, okay? It's not like you're just telling it out of a random air, okay? It should be done yeah. through the heart, okay? So make sure that you build some good projects and also music player, uh, music player, you developed a project, right? Yeah. Music player can be developed by using uh, the basic HTML, CSS and JS also, but you choose to do it uh, with the Monster. more advanced technologies. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's a good attempt, but it can't be uh, a leverage project in the resume. Okay, so make sure you build good projects that make a leverage on your resume. Uh, for example, uh, you make any clone of a bigger website, but add two to three your own features. It's like a Spotify clone. I thought that's why it, it's okay to build a Spotify clone, uh, but it's not like uh, just building a Spotify clone uh, as it is. Mm. Should add at least one or two, or at least two or three own features of your choice, uh, which would add some value to the users, which are not actually present in the original Spotify application. Okay, so that's the thing uh, you need to improve. And uh, I mean, to the uh, back end, uh, so the back end part is uh, the back end part can't be revealed through logics. Okay, the back end part, the way you're explaining is you're explaining the uh, commitment you have towards uh, your back end uh, work, but it should not be put in that way. Okay, you should always put how you segregate uh, your back end uh, process of dealing uh, in particular steps. Like step one, I go to this thing, step two, I go to this thing, step three, I go to this thing. So, you should make, make it very clear. So, you should not tell it as a whole package, you should tell it in a step by step process. Okay, this is what you have to improve uh, in the introduction, project explanation, and work experience. Yeah, in the project, like while uh, coming to the backend, I need to explain in stepwise, right? Yeah, uh, uh, the only thing you can uh, make sure that uh, the other person understands you is the way you explain it uh, by segregating it to the multiple aspects. Okay. So you're not trying to segregate it, you're yeah. just telling it as a uh, as a whole paragraph. Yeah, as a whole package of things. So the other person would not entirely understand your particular, uh, uh, what we call your particular enthusiasm, your particular understanding towards a technology. So if a person should understand uh, your particular enthusiasm or interest or your skill set, you need to explain it by segregating it into multiple aspects. Don't try to explain it in the whole package. Yeah. That's a feedback. So, okay, fine. So, let's move into the actual interview mock. Yeah. Yeah. So, we start from HTML, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ramu, can you tell me about uh, uh, what is doc type in HTML? Uh, doc type HTML is basically, it's like uh, uh, mentioning it's an HTML version 5. So document. Uh, yeah. So what happens if you remove doc type? Uh, it will work, but uh, we need to mention that uh, we are working on latest version of HTML. So HTML5 is the latest version, so we can mention uh, doc type HTML. So you're saying it will work? Yeah, it will work. So even if you remove doc type, it will work. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes. So the, there is no change in the functionality. I mean, uh, if the browser will consider it as like uh, least version of HTML. Okay, will the browser will run on the same mode or it will change its mode? It will run. It will run on the same mode. Yeah. What is quick mode? Hmm? What is quick mode? Quick mode. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah. What is different between block level element and inline element? Uh, we can consider the block level elements for like uh, it will. Uh, take the whole space. For example, if we consider paragraph or div or header tags, those are block level elements. Why? Because uh, if I uh, write any h1 or hello, uh, hello h1, then the whole space it will be taken. If we consider inline element, then uh, whatever the required space it will take. For example, inline elements are like uh, span. Uh, span or anchor tag or uh, image. So whatever the elements, uh, whatever the space it required, it will uh, take those space for inline elements. Okay, fine. Uh, what are iframes? What are iframes? Yeah, iframes like uh, if we want to uh, 
paste any other website uh, or uh, anything, then we can use iframe tag. Can you be? Uh, can you explain it in detail? Like I'm, I couldn't understand what you said. Yeah. For example, uh, in my website, I want to embed some other website, so I can use iframe tag, and uh, I can mention those. Uh, link so it will be display another website in uh, my uh, original website so another website yeah can you tell me the real time use case where we need iframes in your code uh, if we uh, for example in 10000 coders uh, if you want to display uh, any particular stories of another website means uh, uh, any other 10000 coders website then we can uh, paste their student uh, placement history, then we can uh, show to the audience. So, can you tell me the difference between source and href? Uh, source and href, those are uh, attributes basically. Uh, in source, like we have used it in uh, image tag. So, uh, if you have particular file path, then we can mention it in source tag. And href basically used for uh, hyperlink. So, if we want want to go to any other uh, link then we will use href so when we click on that href link it will go to the source is basically like where we want the file to be there so can you write a video tag syntax video tag syntax so i haven't used that but i know something like uh, we will use a video and then controls then inside that we need to use uh, sourc tag okay fine uh, so are you aware of uh, html table layout yeah sure yes yes so can i give you a layout layout means i need to write syntax or uh, no you, uh, you i will give you a layout and you have to write the syntax yeah, for me. Sure. 